Right, hey guys, we're, we're out here today to check out the Renegade Industrial Canopies that they supply down at Trade Tools. Um, I'll start with what I've gone with. I've gone a 1600 just for the setup that I've gone on my car. I like the short base and the short tray, so for us it was perfect. I've just got a small lip that comes off the edge there. So for me, that was just what I chose. Um, for the canopy, I'll run through a couple of things. So it's a jack-off jack -off canopy. So it's obviously got your jack-off points here. This is the jack-off legs. So these you can buy through trade tools as well. Um, they rate it up to 500 kilos for all four of them on there. So just keep in mind the weight that you have in the canopy. You don't want to be jacking it off and drawing off and then they collapse and you know give out on you. So just keep that in mind. It does have a big sticker on the side there to let you know all that sort of stuff. It's a um, pretty straightforward sort of setup if you haven't seen them before. They just slide straight into your holes here and just give them a quick wind up or down depending on whether you're putting it on or taking it off. I originally did want the jack off system just because it was going to be super handy for us camping and you know getting away. We could put everything we have in here, set it up with the fridge, kitchen, all that sort of stuff and then just go to a campsite and just leave it there. So we can still take the car out whether we're going full driving or just going up the beach or wherever it was and it would have made life really easy. But uh, our plans have actually changed and we're thinking about doing a really big trip around Australia. So this is now going to come really in handy for us. So this is just permanently going to stay on the car now. We're going to do six bolts. You know, one either either end, front and back, and then one smack bang in the middle, just on either side where the doors open up. Just for the bolt side of things, so I've got a 90 mil bolt. It's an M12. I've just gone two big flat washers, so I'll start with the first one at the top, and I'll put that through the hole. On the bottom side of the tray, I've got another big flat washer. I've got a, um, a spring washer, and then I've just got a nylon nut. So the nylon knot, obviously, as most of you probably know, is probably the best nut to go for. You don't want that thing rattling uh, off any time soon when you're full driving, going anywhere, all that sort of stuff. So we can do just about anything we want and know that it's going to be on there and have no issues. Um, a great thing about the setup here, after doing a fair bit of research and seeing like the prices of canopies and little extras that you normally have to pay for, one thing we found with this was it came with a lot of extras and it was still very well priced so it was very appealing to us and we really gravitated towards that because obviously if you don't want to spend a, a heap of money and you still want good quality i really suggest going down to trade tools and checking some of these out one of the options here is it comes with is the whale towels um, from what i've just seen on a, a lot of other setups these do cost a little bit extra so for that to come with that is really handy I'll just pull that down there. They have locks that come with them. So after purchase, you do get a set of keys. So you get two keys per lock. So you've got plenty of spares. You won't be running out anytime soon, that's for sure. Um, under here too, there's a little latch. So when you flip that up, it's just extra security there too. If you want to put a padlock through there or a couple of zip ties or whatever you want to do just to deter people, uh, that's another option. Up here, we've got the piano hinge which is on both sides for both gold wing doors. And another great option that does come with it is the ladder racks on top. So you've got one front and back, and then you've got support up inside the roof too, which allows you to carry up to 300 kilos. So that is super handy. Whether you're a tradie or you're doing stuff like us and going off-road or camping, you can throw firewood on there, you can throw swags on top, you can throw ladders, whatever, you name it. Um, also too, in the floor of the canopy, there is extra support on the bottom too. Reason for that is it's jack off. So being able to take that off, if that was to fall or put it down on something solid, you're not gonna worry about bending into this sort of aluminium and you know doing any damage on the bottom there. So she's super sturdy, top and bottom. Uh, what else have we got? We'll jump inside. So you got the two gas struts on each side, on each door. Also too, we've got the waterproof seal that goes right the way around this door. So I've, I was a bit dubious about this and I have been with any canopy, not just these guys. I tested these out just to say, I always say waterproof and dustproof. So I like to put it through its paces and really test it out. And I'll tell you what, like we've had a lot of rain over the last few weeks and this has spent a lot of time outside. I haven't seen one drop of water. 
and we've been off-road and we've done a fair bit of um, full driving and camping and whatnot. And just for the dusty roads and things like that too, like dust, as most people know, is the worst thing in the world when it comes to getting into all the nooks and crannies. So that has held out a lot of dust as well. So that's a really good thing. And for me, it's personally tested, so you can take my word for it. Um, this is just the insides of the whale tails. I don't know if you can see, but up here you've got a, a little plastic sort of extra there. These are the longer ones. So these come with shorter ones when you buy the canopy, but they do supply longer ones. Just for, obviously you can interchange them, it takes two seconds. I've got a little video I'll throw in there to show you exactly what's going on and how to do it. But um, it's just extra security, a bit more support as you bring that door down and lock it in place. It's just a bit harder to pull on. Smaller ones do do the job, but it just gives you peace of mind and lets you know that it's gonna be 100% secure. So this whole canopy for the material wise is a two and a half mil aluminium. So she's a pretty sturdy setup. It's got all the little bells and whistles and extras on there. And seriously, for the price, it's, it's kind of hard to beat. I highly recommend going down to Trade Tools and checking, checking the range of uh, canopies they got. They've got uh, anything to suit from like 1200s to 1600s to 1800 long canopies. So as always guys, make sure you head down to Trade Tools and uh, check out the range and see what you think.